Hey, what's up guys, Wolfgore here. So, I wanted to try something a little bit, well, let's call it a lot bit different today with you. Not your usual Bloodborne video. Um, I posted a video yesterday for Bi Visibility Day. I hope you all enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making it and I was very proud of that video. And I really wanted to solidify and drive home what I was trying to express there. And that's, you know, hey men, they're great. So let's, uh, let's play Dream Daddy together. So this is a game made by the, the Game Grumps. Um, they're a big channel here on YouTube. And as soon as I heard about this game, I immediately wanted to play it. I think it's so cool that somebody from the YouTube community was able to create something like this. I think it's really, really awesome. Um, so it's a dating simulator, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. God, that song is incredible. Daddy. My singing is terrible. You'll have to excuse me. Um, so why don't we just go ahead and hop right into it? Uh, new game. All right, we are sleeping. Z z z z z. Sleeping, sleeping. Dad. Still sleeping? Dad, wake up. Uh, wake up. Pretend to be dead. Or five more minutes. Definitely five more minutes. It sounds just like me. You said that five minutes ago, and also ten minutes uh -huh. ago. Damn, it's time to get up. Yeah, that's too much snoozing. I finally open my eyes and I s and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Oh, that's adorable. Aww. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Build that dad. Build that dad? Okay. Here we go. So, character creation, classic stuff. Uh, so what do we got to choose from? We've got our bod selection, our dad bod to choose. I'm going to try and recreate all this gloriousness that you see before you as best I can. So we've got your bear, your twink, and your standard gentleman. Um, I'm a bit of a hairy chap, if you can't tell. It extends all the way down to my chest. And we won't go any further than that, but yes, I'm a, I'm a bit of a hairy gentleman, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave the hair on. Um, I, I'm five five eleven, uh, 155 pounds, so I think we're gonna go with this look. Pretty pretty cut. He's looking pretty good. I don't know if I'm quite that muscular, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna pretend that I am. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna go with that option. Um, for face, uh, I have a pretty pretty chiseled jawline, if I do say so myself. So I think we're gonna go for the uh, the most chiseled jawline that we can choose from. That looks pretty good to me. Hair. Uh, let's see if I can find my hair in here. I typically go for, oh my god, Goku hair? What? <gasps> they have Goku hair. That's pretty incredible. Not quite my style though. Uh, typically, I like to keep the sides shaved, but, you know, haircuts cost money, so it's kind of grown out a little bit right now. And, uh, I think that one captures it the best. A little longer on top, short on the sides. Good enough for me. And what do we got for hair color? I'm sort of, uh, an auburn brown. Looks good. Looks good. Um, eyes. Oh, my. Oh, hello. No. Well, those are kind of fun. Oh, he's watching you. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, oh, seductive. Seductive eyes. I think we're going to go with the seductive eyes. And, um, my eyes are green and brown. Um, but I, yeah, let's go with purple eyes. Fuck it, you know? Let's have a little fun with it. Um, as for the nose... I've never really understood nose customization in games. Let's just go with the standard. It always looks the best. Um, as for mouth, what do we got? What are we rocking here? All right, just kind of a general smile. Oh, uh, well, that's just fun. That's just way funner. Tongue sticking out. Ooh, pass. A little too sassy for me. I kind of like the grin. Kind of like the grin. He doesn't quite have dimples like me, but I think it's the closest to dimples we're gonna get. Uh, brow. Yeah, well, it kind of looks like my eyebrows, I guess. I don't really know what my eyebrows look like. Hmm. 
Huh? Oh, 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 time for the beard. What do we got? Okay. Well, that... Hmm. Oh, they're letting me down with the beard. I mean, I know it's hard to capture all of this gloriousness in a, in a video game, but... But those don't quite look like me. What else do we got? Oh, the handlebar. No. No. Maybe. Maybe. That's just adorable. Well, my favorite thing about my beard is the mustache, as I do love to do this literally all day long. Yeah, this is no wax. No wax. I do this just just by a thousand gentle strokes a day. I curve it up like that. Um, these beards cover up the mouth too much. And they don't really, they don't really even look like my beard, so I think we're gonna go with just the the sweet, sweet mustache, and we'll just have to deal with the fact that it doesn't quite look like mine. Just keep that same, same color scheme going. Uh, glasses, I don't wear glasses, but let's see what it looks like if I do. Oh, that's handsome. I actually wear aviators. Aviators are the only uh, sunglasses I will wear. I'm weirdly picky about it for some reason. Um, that's a little too much for me, though. I prefer it that way. As for piercings, I do have my ears pierced. I have gauges. They're fours, I believe. In case you were curious. So what do we get? Oh, yeah. That looks just like my earrings. And they're black. Perfect. Perfect. And, oh, clothing. Here we go. Oh, handsome. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that, ooh, egg nipples. I don't know about the egg nipples. It's a little much. Oh, that's cute. That's the one that Markiplier wore in his, in his playthrough of Dream Daddy. Hey, I watched it. I watched Markiplier. It's funny. Um, ooh. I kind of like the suits. I don't, I don't really get to wear a suit in day-to-day -day life, but I like it. And the purple with the cats. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go with this. Looking good, Daddy. Hell yeah. What do you guys think? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? I like it. Name that dad. Name that dad. Wolf. Gore. There we go. Be, Be that, that dad. dad. Alright, let's do it. I still can't believe I'm I'm playing Dream Daddy. Ah. But fuck it. <laughs> Did you fall asleep packing? Maybe. I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in the little photo album. Yeah. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. Oh, I love looking at old photos. Who doesn't? I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile, and we begin looking through it. Oh, look at baby. What was her name, Amanda? Look at baby Amanda. She's so cute. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. You know it. The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I, Oh, oh, that's the options. Um, oh, I'm going to go with mother. Well, I mean, I guess we could have adopted if it was a father, but uh, sure. We adopted you, me and your father. Pretty gay game, so you might as well, you know, get into it. And I certainly don't mean that derogatorily. Oh, no, I skipped. I skipped. I'm sorry I clicked. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Oh. Nice. Halloween when you were may when you were maybe four. Oh, look at the little dinosaur. <laughs> oh my God, that dragon costume. Hey, I almost had it. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon, <gasps> like Daenerys. Daenerys Stormborn. My daughter is Daenerys Stormborn. What's your daughter? Huh? Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and you and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside that dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. <laughs> right, yep, definitely repress that memory. And that was you in your horse face. Oh, horse face. Oh no. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington uh. the Brave. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Superior. 
Oh, do you guys like my daddy a sweater? I looked through all my sweaters, and I've never actually worn this one before. My mom got it for me for Christmas, and I was like, this looks like a dad sweater. So, I thought it was perfect. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Whoa. Ouch, kid. The communist manifesto had a chance back in the day. Damn right. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Aw, oh, Emma uh. P. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P. until high school. Honey, I promise you whole wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing uh. those two up. Dad, Emma R. has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. I can't. I can't. Names are hard. Names are hard. Oh, right. Emma P. was the one who tried to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover. Oh, man. Oh, well, she was a badass like that. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? Dad, that was you. <laughs> I knew that was a badass story. Oh, right. I was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station, it just happened to be that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Ugh, it's a simple explanation, jeez. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. <laughs> they didn't believe me either. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first, photo the first photography award you ever won. Oh, she's a photographer. Look at that. Oh, ladybug. <laughs> Yeah, and I got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. Hey! Nice. Paying the bills. Way to go, daughter. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blasts. Blasts. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Dad. <laughs> oh, dad jokes. Yes, there's going to be so many dad jokes. <laughs> Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Huh. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down, deep down, into the box and pulls out one last photo. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Oh, That's pretty cute. Not gonna lie, that's pretty Aww. cute. I finally decide to break the silence. This was the day you were born, this was the day we adopted you. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot, but of course I was freaking out and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him, he says. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Uh. He was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the uh. back. Oh. I guess that's why we're trying to meet a new dream daddy in this game, because our, our our old dream daddy died of something? Something heroic. He was a fireman. He was a fireman, and he died saving three babies, a cat, and a litter of puppies. It's in the lore. It's official. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait for long. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Huh? Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had a very strong arm. I love how I spin everything so positively. <laughs> hey, remember when I shattered the front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? <laughs> you little tyke. You were a very imaginative, ch imaginative child. Hey, remember when I broke the back window? <laughs> We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Huh. And there will be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Huh. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. I will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear into the rearview mirror. Oh. So, so what? Mm. So tell me on our cool new pad. Wait. So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best. Cheesy announcer voice. I'm really good at those. 
Nestled in the beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features washer and dryer hookups, a two-car garage, multiple places to sleep. Multiple places to sleep. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. Ting! <laughs> what a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week, you sleep more than anybody mm -hmm. I know. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Anyways, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Hey! I think it's great. Won't, won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, try to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point in your life. It's hard. I still don't like parallel parking. I mean, I'm fine in my car, but in my work truck, oh, forget it. Mm -hmm. Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Yeah. Oh, bazinga. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighbors seem the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah. You're real. Don't you dare. <laughs> Senior. Hmm. Oh god, the dad puns. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just gonna ignore that, but I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have you have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hmm. Hiya! And with a swift kick from... Uh, oh, that was hiya! With a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got, I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. And, I, an ice cream sandwich. Even, that's the best kind of sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Do you ever see all the dogs in the park? Oh, you know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog, where the dog to ratio person is very high. I love dogs. I only want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell DOG <laughs> to rock it way up. <laughs> I mean, you do that a lot already. Yeah. Hey, it's a dog! Oh. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood, and I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is huh? nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroll over there? Government operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench where we start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Ow! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face! Damn. Woof. Ah. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Oh, worth it. Worth the pain. Hello! Do you throw that thing at my head? I like your necktie. Hello! Arf, arf! Bork, bork! Oh, look at the doggo. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh, God, this is the cutest dog. I love corgis. Pet the dog. But where do I pet the dog? Give him those head rubs all, but I want to get behind the ears. We need some chin scratches in there. Okay, head rub. I want the ears. He seems to love a good head rub. All smiles here. You definitely could have caught that. <laughs> a 
guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. <gasps> Is that the first dream, Daddy? Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Look at his freckles. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, he matches his dog. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. And he's funny. <laughs> Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. That's a little more aggressive than my style. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. It's a new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. Nice to meet you, Brian. I'm Wolf, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's tummy. <laughs> Hi. Huh. Your dog's cool. Ah, uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Oh, you have a daughter. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. I bet it was Harry Potter. Hey. This is Daisy. Oh, hi, Daisy. She's reading the brothers... Okay, it was... She's reading Harry Potter. Her father tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. Oh, she's smart. How old is she? Ah. Ten! She's a precious little youngster. Hey. Or was that precocious? I don't know. Either way. Oh. My natural dad instincts kick in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Let's do this. Oh no, it's happening. <gasps> oh my god, it's Pokemon! Brian, go on, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. I got this. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. 80 points, Brian. 80 points, us. Okay. Uh, uh, flea? Hell no. DHTR? I don't know what that means. Brag? Item? What do we have for items? Child art? Oh, oh do I carry around child art? Spelling. Child art. Boom. Coming out of the gate strong. You're, you unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. How precious. Cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Good. Brian loses 10, H 10 HP. You regain 20 HP. Uh-oh. I wasn't missing any HP. Daisy just started a weekly... Oh, God, this text is hard to read. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president, too, of course. Damn. Okay, she is smart. Dang. My high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, okay, I did regain the HP. 90 to 70, I'm winning, motherfucker. Uh, uh, brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photo- Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Come at me, bro. Wow, congratulations. Brian loses 10 HP. Winning! Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Damn! Okay, he's, com he's coming back strong. Coming back strong. Uh, uh, what is DHTR? Can't switch daughters. Amanda is your only daughter. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Item. Band aid. I don't know. I'm running out of stuff. With a flourish, you produce a band aid from your pockets. Take a knee and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. Oh, she's gonna hate this. Amanda, what are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent, of course. <laughs> Anyone would agree it is an unusual gesture. You lose 10 HP. Hey, that's fair. I didn't know what I was gonna do with the band aid, I just pulled it out and had to act. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get to the top prize. A canoe. She won a canoe? Damn. We're taking it out next weekend. Oh, that sounds fun. Can I come? How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. <laughs> it's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. Oh no! We're losing 45 to 60. Um, what other items do I have? Grad card? You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grad... Oh, grade card out of your back pocket. Why would I just be carrying that, Dad? Awesome grades. Brian loses 25 HP. Nice. Well done, Amanda. I hope it was straight A's. You really carry that around everywhere? Apparently. Maybe it is kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. <laughs> Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Wow. Daddy. Oh, that's adorable. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose two 10 HP. No. We're bad at dad mode. Uh, uh, spelling bee photo. 
Fumbling through your phone's browser, you manage to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Brian, wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepared for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully, this will be her third win in a row. Oh, lethal. You lose 5 HP. Daisy here has a lot of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. Oh, wow, he's going low. Amanda self-consciously <laughs> pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. We're down to 5, 5 to 35. Oh my gosh, what do we have? Uh, you can't switch daughters. Uh, uh, brag? Last week... Uh, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Words aren't all Daisy's good at, by the way. Her math is amazing. One time, I actually called her to double check my numbers before I made a cut for a support beam. Wow, that's incredible. You did that more than once, Dad. <laughs> Doesn't that say more about him than it does about Daisy? Still. You lose 10 HP. Oh, lethality. Dang, he's really got us beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Arg! Did he have to add insult to injury by such a gr gracious winner? <laughs> by being such a gracious winner? <sighs> we lost. We lost. Oh, I must, I must twiddle my mustache out of shame. So, I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. Yes, we are. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Uh. Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Oh, I'll be seeing you around then. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. Oh, perfect. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does the guy have to do out... Well, does this guy have to outdo me at everything? Yes, yes, he does. That's, that's what it is to be a dad. What a lovely place. Ah. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice to meet you guys. You have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Ryan and Daisy walk further into the park, with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Did you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up mm. us? Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. <laughs> it's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. <laughs> too close to the Aww. truth, Dad. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Gore. <laughs> oh, our last name is Gore. I love that. I didn't even put that together. We laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more enjoying the day. Well... I think that's a good stopping point. We got into the game. We met our first Dream Daddy. I actually had a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this. It's it's fun. It's fun. I didn't I didn't know how I was gonna feel about this game, but I really am enjoying it. Um, so we're definitely gonna be playing uh, playing this more. We're gonna do another episode, and I'm going to be just recording these one at a time, releasing them, gauging your guys' response, and then filming another one. I don't want to get too. Uh, backlogged on these like I've done with Let's Plays in the past. That's something that I really want to work on or stop doing or you know what I'm saying. The point is one at a time it's going to be like released the day I made it. So you guys will be feeling a little bit more connected to the Let's Plays I hope. Well I really want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you could like the video before you go. It really does help my channel grow and I would really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you did. But hey, no pressure. Um, either way, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.